Hey, welcome back, everybody. Sign here again with another episode of my AC2 playthrough. And there was two Trandons on the rocks. That one was stuck under my trike, and then that one just took off from that rock right there. I come out of my house because it's morning, and it's like, okay, this is reminding me of Alfred Hitchcock a little bit now. You're doing good? Oh, you are out of food. Look at you. All right, let me... No, not that one. I meant to split this stack a couple of times. You can have those. You can have those. And, uh, you can have those. And... Let's try this out. I made some taco Venomeros. 180, 3, 3, 3. Okay, cool. Now, everybody is following the Osteraptor. Can you not? Thank you. Oh, hey, cool. White drop behind the house again. Go check it out, shall we? Okay, I'm inside my house trapper. There we go. <laughs> it's under the edge of the rock when I hopped out. Uh, you know... Sure, I mean, I guess. And in the water we go. A jellyfish. Oh, hey, that's a baby orca. Oh, that is a broad tooth mako right there. Nope. Oh, that thing was fast. What am I being afflicted with? Rend. Oh, the more times it bites, the more damage it does overall. Level 90, Broadtooth Mako. Lots of fish meat. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see, we got hammerheads over here. These guys are friendly. That's a great white. That one's not friendly. What are you? Photostegas. Did they get a TLC and I not realize it? <laughs> Looks like it. I used to never be able to come up on land. That's awesome. Um, me. And it's not hurting you either. Oh, that is cool. All right. Got orcas, there's mantas. Megalodons, there's jellyfish, which... Yeah, I have an underwater spin move. Which just obliterates jellyfish, which is awesome. And two levels. Alright, and we got some biotoxin, which... Yeah, can't really do anything with right now. Although, I could use it to tame a platyosaur. Uh, so yeah, a little bit of here. And we got the orcas over here. There's another Ostoraptor. Hello. Will you be my friend later on? Uh, probably not. I just heard. Is there a baby orca over here? Uh, 
Level 20. Hmm. Okay. Possibly stranded Ichthyosaur. <laughs> the Thalassa is going after a Dodo again, and it can't really hit it. Which is kind of the, the funny thing about that. I got stuck in the tree. There we go. Um, you know, I don't want any of that. Oh, hey, Ophthalmosaurus. Cool. I wonder if they still have their pack bonus. I know a couple things got their pack bonus removed because it made them, honestly, just too overpowered. There is an anomalo cars around here still. Where was... Ah, there it is. There we go. Yep, anomalo cars. They're really actually kind of cool. There's a narwhal there. Megalodon. There's another narwhal. There's a pressing need for air here soon. Oh, you can't do the spin move it. Launch out of the water. That's a shame. Oh, Cryptoclitus. Hello. Yeah, these guys, the Cryptoclitus are tiny plesiosaurs. And they are some of the most overpowered things in the water. I was messing around with one on, well, on Ragnarok and Crystal Isles, two separate Cryptoclitus, and I was using them to solo um, Alpha of Moses. That's a Zygo Pisetter. Uh, let's see. Oh, hey, we got some more Ostraptors over here. All right, so we should have that cave stuff here ways, isn't it? Kind of want to show off the effect that these guys have. They're they're broken when it comes to caving. And, oh, Stegnosaur. Oh, Piranhas. Not anymore. The yeah, Ostraptors, they're fish eaters, so they do extreme bonus damage to fish. And yeah, nice. I think it's like 10 times or something like that. All right, so. I think it's up this way for the cave. Also, we leveled up again. And eh, more damage. 2000 health is honestly probably enough for now. I'm playing on difficulty five. And this is not going to be like an anti-boss creature, so I don't think I need to like go ham on the uh, on the health. I'm not planning on soloing an Alpha Rex, so it'd be okay. Uh, let's see, it's actually okay. Oh, a concavenator there. A turtle. Where is that cave entrance? Is it? It's right here, isn't it? Yeah, here we go. All right, torch. Okay. 
and There we go. Hey, look, there's Megalani on the ceiling, right? <laughs> Doesn't care. Go this way. Scorpion. Yeah. Okay. What else we got around here? Uh, there's there's Scorpion. Oh, spiders. Here we go. Good amount of them, too. And they just really don't care about Ostraptors. They're just... As far as they're concerned, I don't exist. And that's because they're land-based carnivores, and uh, I'm on a water creature. At least it's how it's entered into the, uh, the, the code and whatnot, I guess. But uh, basically, they're treating me like a fish. So they're not going to go after me because, well... Reasons, right? There is a dodo in here. What the hell? Dude, you are not supposed to be in here. I thought it was just like hearing one on the surface above the cave or whatever, but no, no, that's literally a dodo in the cave. All right. Well, there's a turtle again. And... Oh, hey, it's an Oxalia. These guys are actually really awesome. I do love these guys. I think I kind of preferred them before uh, latest TLC. They, were kind of, they, they look a little... I don't know. Kind of like clay almost, right? Oh, there's a Ampicyons up there? Really? They're, they spawn on this part of the map too. Oh, that's terrifying. Hmm. Alright, well, moving on. Oh, that's a dead raptor. Oh, yep. Segnos took him right out. Dilos for days over here. Really, there's a Bilar here. Level 95. They're excellent mounts for getting around the map on, too, actually. They're not ignored like everything else is. Like, hey, Karno. Hey. No. 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 Pay attention to me. They don't. Uh, but they can actually... They're really good on Valve. Oh, hey, there's a couple of Pakasukas here. Uh, they have a, a special Scream ability that actually, like, slows down... Basically, it nerfs Raptors. Hostile Raptors. And then they also have a... Uh, a Bolster Cry for friendly Raptors, which is kind of cool. But they do excellent for... Uh, leading packs like Dinonicus around. Which actually, according to the lore on the AC2 wiki, their whole thing is that they are Dinonicus Mimics. And there's a Sukumimus. That guy might come after me because he does target fish. So, but I don't like taking these guys to the swamp too much. Alright. Oh, there's a raptor. Let me pitch out some of the uh, unnecessaries here. Uh, I guess I'll keep the narco berries for now. Definitely want to keep the rare flowers. And you guys are just going nuts, aren't you? All right. And so the area that I'm heading to to go scout is up here. We are roughly here-ish right now, so. Go 
could make up my mind if it'd be quicker to go, you know, overland or just around the coast. Kind of thinking maybe I should have gone around the coast because I could have swam the whole way. And these guys are actually pretty good swimmers. They're half a decent mountain climbers, though, too, so. Hey, Archaeopteryx. But it works good for things like that, too, that are super skittish that you need to get up close to tame. Like Archaeopteryx, you can just walk right up to them on an Ostraraptor and just pop them in the head with a Trank Dart. That is a Cryptops. Anything else, I would not get that close to that. thing has a, a viral breath weapon. And one of the things it does is it actually steals health from you and gives it to him. On top of a whole bunch of other nastiness. Alright. Well, there's some galleys. And a pteranodon. All right, so let's so we'll head towards the volcano then, huh? Oh, hey, Bongwela. They tame with honey, and they're actually really good at attacking beehives and actually harvesting honey out of it when they hit like a bear but a flying mount that actually or a flying pet I should say because they actually ride on your shoulders dude raptor you're getting you're not gonna survive that oh there's a car car yes which has been recently slated to be added to vanilla arc it's not this car car just, you know, dinosaur, same name, pretty much. And this one is not going anywhere. Aloe pack, okay. More raptors. Yeah, this is nice and... Nice and busy around here. And my stamina is just, like, lasting forever. I've been running this whole time. Oh, hey, there's a Herrerasaur. These guys are fun to get around on, too. A rare sword. That's not this one. This one's too low of a level. Oh, hey, there's the uh, the Chitin Cave. Central Cave, I guess, is what technically known as. Camerasaurs. They're not bad early tames because they don't even need a saddle to be ridden. But uh, they can harvest stone and wood for you, which is awesome. Is that an Angaturama over there? Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Terrestrial Spinosaurid. Comes in three different uh, flavors, pretty much. This would be a good way of putting it. And there's like a docile, a neutral, and then an aggressive. Uh, basically, their behavioral traits is what they are. But basically, it, it's a fancy way of saying that the Beastie has three different AIs. And depending on which AI it gets, you know, or which personality it gets is which AI it's going to use. All right, we got hyenodons over here. Hey, guys. Yeah, I can't pet him on the back of a Velociraptor, though. That would be a little bit too broken if you could interact with things on the back of a dino. Sauropelta. Kind of your all-in-one harvester, actually. I think you can harvest everything but flint. Which, eh, you know, get an Ankylosaur, I guess, in that case. Oh, hi. <laughs> now, if I hit anything, it will definitely aggro on me. But I'm invisible even to a Giga. What did you eat down here anyway? A couple things, looks like. Oh, Argies. Okay. That makes sense, I guess. Like, what around here would leave bags that you would eat? Eh, birds. You just wanted some Kentucky Fried Chicken is all.
Hey, we got some puppies. And we're in the snow. And I am freezing my butt off. Let's go up the hill all the ways here. You Tyrannus, uh, the roar will affect me though, so I do need to be careful not to be in its area of effect when he does that little thing of his. Okay, now I'm just, you know, slightly chilly. So I want to go to that area there. Okay, nope. I'm not immune to fall damage on this guy, by the way. Oh, Torposaurus. Okay, yeah. And yeah, we got some saber kitties and got an aloe. Hey, aloe. Do 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 do. Hey, off. Australvenator. Venator. Oh, you. You are problematic then. Of course, he attacks. Uh, water creatures, so of course he's going to come after me. That was a level 130. Of course, I'm level 206, but... Ow! <laughs> there we go. Go ahead and just force feed some fish here to help heal. It's a... Uh... Bit faster. Oh, I am uh, I'm having problems too. Alright. Uh yeah, roughly the right direction, okay. Oh, that's a Pasolosuchus. I have no idea if that'll come after me or not. Oh, Stigimalock. Oh, that's a max level too. Uh later. Uh, so, so yeah, Stigimal Lock, Dracorex, and Pachycephalus are most likely all the same creature, the same beastie, just different life stages. There's another Posolosuchus, which is funny because the version they put in Arc is the Pachycephalosaur, and it's tiny. Well, the Pachycephalosaur is the adult version. Stigimal Lock is the, like, teenage, you know, not quite fully mature, st you know, stage. And then Dracorex is like the child version. Well, the Pachycephalosaur in Ark is about the size of a Dracorex, in other words, a juvenile. There's another Dinochirus up there. I just saw one back there, too. Yeah, there's another uh, Manguela up there. Now oh, I got some Dodos here. Get out of my way, Parasaur. Oh, yep. Or no. But the, uh, yeah, the Stigma Lock is basically a larger version of Ark's Packy that can actually break rocks with its head. Kind of cool. Well, Packies should have been in the first place, actually. Hmm. Going down, Parasaur. Thank you. You're nice and tasty. Hey, I leveled up. Um, a little more fortitude might not be a bad idea. So yeah, we're right here at the edge of the, the ice, and yeah, I'm freezing. And now I'm burning up. <laughs> you gotta love arcs temperature zones, right? Chalantesaurus. used to be so much better, but then it got nerfed because it, uh, they do spawn, those guys spawn on uh, Apparition. And actually, was it the Chalantes I was using? I think it was, actually. And they have a stacking Denonica-style bleed. Which is, you know, pretty good. You get 10 of those guys, though, on Rockwell, and yeah. And, uh, so they no longer, but I guess it was popular enough with enough people that uh, they're no longer inflicting a bleed on bosses, which just took it from being 
an excellent boss fighting creature to just like middle of the road large carnivore why bother right you know it's like okay do i want do i want a car car do i want a chalante do i want a rex do i want a tarbo do i you know and it's just yeah so it's like okay well i'm just gonna go with whatever i go with first now i mean car car is a little bit faster than uh faster move speed and a faster attack speed than rexes here we go uh, they have that fear war thing they can do as well. So this is the area I was kind of thinking about. Now it is hot here as well. Oh, and up. Okay. Oh, freaking bugs, really? I mean, there's this nice lake area here. Nice platform up here we got and eh, decently level drops that come down uh, if we look at our map from here uh carno island is like right here we're here roughly right this little dot right here that's basically the lake we're at at carno island's right here snow is right here uh we got mountains here here there i mean resources are plenty around this area there's a Artifact cave there and here. It's still pretty far away from most of the other artifact caves, though. But there's... Yeah. You're only going to find so many places, or so many artifacts close together anyway. Well, one of the reasons I don't want to build here is, well... I think there's just one in there right now, but beaver dens. Bite your butt. Come on, dude. Come on. You know you want a piece of me. And... Goodbye. You forgot already. All right. That means I can come in here, I can be like, hey, uh, thanks for the stuff. Goodbye. And if I, you know, build too close to this lake, then I'm not going to be able to do that. And I'll have to go further away from my cementing paste and whatnot. Oh, yeah, you're okay. Is the other one coming after me? Oh, yeah, there he is. You're the max level one, aren't you? Yeah, 145, close enough. I kind of want to leave that one here and try to come back for it. There are a lot of options, though, for, for getting wood. There are a lot of creatures that harvest wood, so... Put it that way. Alright, so if we head out the north, or the south exit, sorry. Got this nice little canyon right here. And it basically just... Yeah. Still in a canyon, by the way. Leads on out over to here. Where we have this nice river right here that takes us straight to the ocean. Good sized flat area around here. Lots of things to munch on. Lots of different animals to try and tame up or whatever. And... There we go. And there's a Dino Kairos right there. Level 25. That would still mess me up. Alright, so... I guess one thing I could do is... I don't know, maybe zip over to Carno Island. Oh, hey, there's Nitrosaurs in the water. I wonder if they're going to aggro on me. Yep. <laughs> Piss them off. 
they're basically like the easiest way to think of them is just like gigantic hippos down to temperament and environment they prefer uh, two of them just like forgot about me at the exact same time there third one is still coming after me though yeah and there's carno island there oh hey he forgot okay Oh, yep, yep, he's coming after me. You know, I don't really go diving around here very often. I have no idea what's around here. Mm, yeah, I should probably try getting back to the surface here. I am overheating, it says. Oh god, are we having one of those events? No, 78. Well, where I'm at, I'm underwater. Right. Uh, 117 degrees. Also, say hello to the Talosaurs. Oh, there's a Rex fighting raptors there. Uh, we got a car car over here. And I guess a Torvo back there. Oh no, car car's fighting the Torvo. Okay. And we got another car car fighting Argies over here. Got more Argies over here fighting a couple of Rexes. <laughs> There is an Alpha Carno over here. Wow, level 135 Carno has only got 1700 health. There you go. I couldn't really resist. I mean, that guy was at like a hundred something health. <laughs> he was a high level. Um, Alpha Carno, 150. What are you fighting down there? Oh, okay. There's a regular Carno that just got murdered. The Alpha Carno and the Car Car, though. Oh, wait. Are you trying to fight the. Cause you're, not, you're not hitting. There we go. Our car got hit by the tiger. The saber tooth. Right, okay. <laughs> Let's go over here and see what's going on. And... Rex. We got scorpions and a carno. Got probably some RG bags here or something. There's a lot of bags in the ground here. Should hang out and see how this goes. Also, there is a a, a Zygo setter here. Level 145. Okay. Arno's dead. Mine now. I think it's safe to say the Rex is going to win, right? Uh, it's a level 20 Rex, and it is getting tranked out pretty good there, actually. I'm just keeping an eye on this thing to see if it gets uh, cranked enough that it's going to torpor run. I don't think it's going to happen, but... I mean, it's almost at 1,000 torpor out of 3,300. And there we go. There's 1,000, and it's still climbing. 45 scorpion, 140 scorpion. They're both like one bite away from death, though. There we go. Mm, 
1200 torpor. I got a slingshot. I'm not trying that, but it is kind of tempting. Okay, it's been at 12 for a little while now. It's probably falling. So, um, I have got two rank arrows and a slingshot. So, yeah, no. You need to go, like, elsewhere, though. I want to... I want to grab these bags. Could I take out a level 20 Rex? Probably. Am I standing on its foot? Yes. Have I gotten it stuck? Kinda. Oh yeah, roar all you want. Alright, that was a level 20 Rex, okay. I was going to say, if I got more than one level, uh, something's broken here. Alright. Oh, metal hatchet. Uh, well. I don't want to have to try to run back to you in case, you know, something happens. Okay, um, there we go. I was going to say, I know I saw more bags around here. I'm just, like, grabbing everything. All right. Anything else around here? Uh, not really looking like it now. So, okay, we got a metal pick off of probably the Rex, actually. Uh, we got a better shirt. We've got better booties. We'll just toss those out. Uh, let's get rid of the primitive stuff. Got quite a few slingshots. There we go. And okay, so we've got metal tools now. Basically for being patient. Uh, let's go ahead and throw those out. Another trank arrow up to four. Okay. Let's throw out the berries, right? I don't really need the berries. I'm going to keep the rare flowers, though. But... There we go. And you can hold on to this and that for me. 600 wood. We got 295 cementing paste from that beaver dam, too. Nice. All right. Um. Okay, that was a coup. <laughs> is that a Tarbosaurus? It is. Whenever I get over to Scorched Earth, I am definitely taming a Tarbosaurus because they can actually, they can maul the uh, rock elementals like nobody's business. Mm. Yeah, let's do it. That's a Rajasaurus, isn't it? It's a larger version of the Carno, and it's got... It's an Abila sword. But uh, it's. It's got a hell of a charge attack to it, is what it's got. That Tarbosaurus is getting beat to hell, though. Hmm. Oh, that thing's still alive. You were like barely in the water, boy. Look at that. Oh, he's yeah, he's just he's there by choice though. Okay. Oh, the Tarbosaur is still alive. Oh, and now I'm freezing my butt off. Okay. Go figure. Well, we have spent basically an entire day running around, so. But let's go ahead and head back to that little lake area. I want to see what's on the slope right above it.
Too long underwater. Alright. Hey, we got friends over here. Maybe. 135 male. Hmm. Alright, so basically I just cut through the night because, well, it's nighttime, right? There's an Ongaturama down there in that lake now. But I did get the male tamed up and past the time, I went ahead and bred them once while, you know, throughout the night. So let's go along this way. We're actually on one of the cliffs overseeing this. The yeah, Anger Traumas, by the way, they lay down, and that's how you passive tame them, is while they're laying down. So, if you get a docile one, it's a lot easier to get up close to them and, and shove food in their mouth. If you get a, an aggressive one, yeah, good luck. Oh, look at you. Oh, you're, you're a high level. Um, hey, come here. One rare flower, basically, no matter what level they are. Hi, Compi. Where did that freaking panda just go to? Alright, thank you. Hi. Yes, I know. You're very curious about me. that panda like run off the cliff or something is it down there oh no there you are Come here. uh email there we go and as soon as i hopped on here that copy's like oh okay and just forgot about me Oh, that's a 140 compy there. Let me... Bye. Dang it. Oh, hello, Raptor. 140 Raptor. Nice. And... Okay. Go this way. Should probably go ahead and turn that off. Hey, Pladiosaur. Oh... Hey, you're level 90? Guess what I got? <laughs> I've got your crack. Okay. Oh, I have to be at least level 25 to feed it. Okay. Maybe later. Go ahead and put that in that back over here. There we go. Oh, there's Parasaur. And... Right, so... Can you squeeze through? Yeah, we can, okay. Cool. There we go. What I want to do is I want to go up over here on this side now. There's basically that pond is just like a really wide spot in the canyon. And we just basically, you know, crossed over the other end of the canyon. Oh, Gigantospinos. And yeah, here we go. Tech Trike. That's from the uh, Dino Fixes mod. Yeah, here we go. This is the site I wanted to check out next. And it's not as flat looking as it appeared from the other side. Hey, what are you? Level 60? Get it. Kill. Thank you. The red panda on my shoulder killed it. That's awesome. Alright. Um, yeah, you're right behind me. Good. And Ostraptors are a whole lot better at following than, than most things. Oh! You're stuck. I don't have enough narcotics to knock you out, though. I mean, I've got a whole ton of biotoxin to keep you down once you get down. 
But uh, getting you down is uh, going to be a whole different story there. There we go. And then, yeah, there's the other part of the canyon. Yeah, I was looking at over here and... Okay. okay. You're not following? Okay, cool. So, what is that over there? Okay, Gigantus Spino. I'm like, I just saw a really big tail, and I was like, uh, I don't want to get any closer until I know what it is. There's a dead Carno there. Watch that thing pick a fight in the middle of the night with a trike and lose. So, yeah. No, it's... Basically, the entire, like, way around this bowl area, I guess we could call it is uh, the high point is the rim, and then it all slips away, so. I may have messed up, though, by coming down here. <laughs> yep. He's, uh, not having an easy time getting back up, that's for sure. Hey, there's that... Tapiara, okay. Hey. Come here. Come on. There you go. So if I'm going to build in this area... Might be best to. Wow, I didn't take any fall damage here. Hmm. Uh, build down here a bit. Level 25 Mia. Hmm. I wonder. Go to neutral. I don't want you killing this thing whenever I immobilize it. Oh my. That is one thing about Ostraptors, is they can't turn for crap. Well, they just don't turn whenever you're uh, in first person. That was easy. Like other, you know, creatures, when you're in first person view with them, you can... There's a Dimorphodon over there. Stuck in a tree. Like, you are wedged in there, aren't you? Have that arrow back? Thank you. Man, the, the nose moving when it eats, that's just, yeah. A bit odd. Oh god. Actually? Level 15. Alright, let's do this. Those things can uh, take you off the back of your mount and kill you. This is an incredibly low level one, though. What is it fighting? Zombies. Okay, yeah, it knocked me off. Okay. There we go. 58 organic polymer. That's why. <laughs> right there. Hello, Therzino. And there's an Ovaraptor. As long as I have a red panda effect going on, the, the Cuddle Buddy buff, there's theories don't care. Alright. They will, however, attack your tames if you're not within close enough proximity to them. Alright. Can I... 
Sulkin. And I don't know why this happens, but when you're trying to craft along the back of an Ostraptor, you can't use these top buttons. Oh, I need metal for that? Oh, man, I didn't realize that. All right, so we've got Dead Carno here. Uh, looks like the, the Angaturama picked a fight with something it shouldn't have. We still have our... the 145 caster down here that I spared last time I was through. Raptor. Let's take out that Therizino, I think. And I'm probably just going to end up building right here. At least as, you know, part of it, right? I mean, there's a good... Bit of area, I mean, not huge amounts, but a decent sized area. Okay, attack my target and. Chomp. That hurt a lot. Their beak attack actually hits the rider. And yeah. That hurt. Oh, that hurt a lot. Okay. Level 19. One more level, we can start actually with metal stuff. So 17 was irrigation. 18 is the feeding trough. I definitely want that. I just wore Acrofy Setter, Hammerhead Shark Saddle. Villager table at level 19. Okay. Uh, level 140 trike. Not bad. That's the one that took out that Carno over there. Got a couple Segnos over here. And they, they constantly look like they're screaming while they're swimming. Okay, there were some Piranha. My god, you did 1200 damage to that Piranha. Oh, there's another Beaver Den. Look at that. Level 85 Segno. And their kibble is honey, so... Okay, we got Hespornus and we've got an Aethiornus here. Oh, we didn't pick up the stuff from the Therry. Okay, well, slightly better armor and I don't care about the rest of it. My raptor did level up. Uh, one more of that. Thank you. So, yeah, um, there we go. Just thinking, I'm going to have to. Oh, I love metal tools so much. I'm gonna have to get my my dinos and my stuff up here. And I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do that quite yet. Because uh that's pretty close to as far as far away from across the map as I can get. All right. I mean that's a pretty good distance. Dinos aren't going to be too bad. I can just make soul traps and, you know, get them that way. Equipment, though. You've got 498 weight. Uh, well, you've got a couple levels here. So you can have that and then that. You've got 444 weight. Also, apparently we have a blue drop coming down. So, uh, can I get the uh, large storage box? Thank you.
And honestly, most of the stuff's going to stay here. Putting that, that, and that. Go ahead and move that on over. I don't have a huge amount of Trank Arrows, but I'm not planning on taming anything soon either. And you've got a lot of stuff to drop off here, and you've got some stuff. And, oh, that's the gloves, okay. Oh, I'm encumbered. Okay, let's go ahead and... Shed a, a bit of weight, anyway. Yeah, I'll take this too, I guess. Alright, I might be able to get everything back here on these two guys. It's just gonna... It's gonna be a bit of a trip. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and call this an episode. Um, I've got a... I've got to move house, and that's probably not going to be a very entertaining episode. It's going to be a repeat of me wandering up here for... <laughs> that happened this episode. But, thanks for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this one, and until the next, sign signing out. Have fun.